Hi everybody! Oh, I'm halfway off the screen here. You have found one to play next. We're doing everything that is awesome, and I do mean awesome in gaming. So this is Lila Sky Arc. We're digging through. We have this great indie community, um, and I like to showcase. Oh, there goes the screen. I like to showcase some of our games. So let's see if we can fit this a bit more on screen. So this is Graffiti Games. It's still in development, obviously, so they don't have it quite to where it like automatically picks up your settings. Obviously, I have a gaming computer, so. save slot. Let's take a look at what it got. This game saves when the icon appears. You don't have to ride. Purple. I love it. Americans are obsessed with small. So if you can hit that note the right way, it brings a lot to the table off the drop. Below the waves above the clouds. I noticed that there was that like earth and sky at the same time underwater feel. Obviously, she couldn't plunge from that far in it. And her unearthly voice! My goodness. We doing click or was sad? Maybe they Alright, so we have a little indicator. A lot in the way of jumping. What is this? Press. Oh, why would I press it? All right, so I can dart ahead, and then it indicates how far I am away with the color scheme. So it's an interesting use of um, light and shadow, uh, confuse the elements, and then also shading. Pick up objects. We get to be destructive right off the drop. That's always handy. We go on a killing spree, as long as it's object-oriented, right off the drop. Lila is a destructive child. I'm gonna stay with her on her destructive journey. You wanna know, you wanna know. Why does she get to wreck the landscape? How much crap can she pick up? I had a feeling that would top out there. Let's see if we can break it open. Obviously, step two is to see if you can break it. Okay. What are you? I have a compendium? What is a compendium? And how do I access it? I have a happy little rock, so I think I'm gonna run around with that for a second before I concern myself with press tab. Activate the doctors. Now I have I have a purpose. That's exciting. They're on this part of the map. C, C is no C is not for compendium. Okay. Well, we'll continue onward. So this has a minimalist access from the map. The compendium shows all the items. Activate the doctor. There's a mushroom. Onward. So it's got a minimalist design. Bark. It sounds like exactly the sort of place that happens in my career. Oh, okay, he just flipped upside down. I feel bad. Stay there, friend. I'll go get help. What are you? I is all interactions, for instance. Hello, Lila. Hi, friend. You woke up with a strange feeling, you say. Well, better ask the doctor then. You know, every cog and every transistor in the ship by heart. We're inside of a ship? That's what I like about minimalist games. Um, they're essentially introducing you to setting, which is great if you're developing your catalog. You might have to boot them up first, though. New compendium entry. We'll bounce out and look a little bit at the game's look and feel. So you can really only interact with the sheep if you flip them over first. What is this? <gasps> Achieved! We're excited. Hello, Lila. Nice to see you. Do you remember me? I'm Thomas. The doctor your dad always called me. I'll show you around this crazy new world. Here's the mailbox. It will gladly take you 
We will gladly take whatever's on your mind and send it to another mailbox somewhere. You need to know its location, though. Do you feel lost? Look for my yellow scarf. Got it, homeboy. Thanks. Alrighty. So, fairly large world. We're apparently inside of a spaceship of some sort. Um, you can collect items. They're disproportionate to your size. The little backpack studies sturdy. Without magic, but filled with stories of past adventures. Hit space to select and flip through your packed items. Alrighty, so a little bit of a tutorial. This must be my bedroom. St. Thomas. That's my storage chest. So we have a little Stardew Valley vibe going on here. It's the doctor. We have some lovely friendly creatures. We can interact with other mailboxes, but we don't have any of those yet. And I want to kind of blitz it and see if the map gets big. While you're exploring, you are also um, adding to your journal. So your Sony's kid and you're running around a spaceship, it looks like, is the general... Look and feel it here. <gasps> Madagascar Build-A-Bear! I wanted one. These people are so unfair to me. Is this information on that? How do you use girl for me? Never. Listen to the slow loris. You know, it sounds like it'd be like a holly bushes it's a tree spirit instead of a tree spirit. Bring a selection of recipes and ingredients. Scan your preferred recipe into the database. Find the matter energized slot. Insert the amount of ingredients respective to your recipe. Never listen to the slow loris. Until the quantum singularity aligns or not. Never listen to the <laughs> It seems important. In case of success, your item should come down the slide on the right hand side. Cool. Like I said, I want to real fast see if I can um, branch my map either sideways or up. Doesn't really seem inclined to let me do that. Okay, dead. So we came from one map down. Um, and then we have one mailbox, which appears to be what lets us mark our progress here. What is this? Not anything I can interact with. I feel like that's so unlikely. Oh, these are potential things that I can do. I see. So we will obviously do them, clearly. And then we need a diskette and some sort of red thing. <gasps> that looks important. Maybe some water. I like that it has suggestions for me. Oh my gosh, look at your cute little umbrella. Hey. Let's get on to the next screen. I'm also curious about what's in that building, but I'm more curious what the dev wants me to see. So this is blocked off for some reason. So is this. So we have a couple obstacles off the drop. That's the interior to that building there. It's down here. Or more hazards. Some sort of a desk. And we're inside the rainbow arc. Can we go back outside of the rainbow arc? Okay, we can. Have your way around. What is to the east? Oh, we're immediately see if I would have looked at that first, I would have known. So it's really only going to show you the areas around the mailboxes. Those must be some sort of a guide. Let's go out and get a little bit more here. Okay, so this is a little bit um, of action here. Check a psychedelic road from bizarre beasts and punishing bosses. This poetic mystery filled with secrets, puzzles, and music. Okay, so the music does come into play. There's the crafting element. So you use things to get past the um, blockades as well as the bosses. You don't have a traditional attack, which is interesting. I mean, you do if you're Toadstool, <laughs> but that's about it. 
Unravel Lila's puzzle like story. Oh, their little lady. And then they mention your father, they mention the doctor. Really atmospheric as far as how the storyline is handled. I love the bosses. They did that in, um. The heck is the name of that game? It was a Brazilian to English. Dear um, mom, dear mom. I was wondering, are you all right? Everything's all right. Here oh, on wow. the island, the everyone way. seems fine. The beetles are crawling, the dinos are singing, and the rocks are rolling. Everything's all right. But we're at war, aren't we? <gasps> There's something wow, that's a under twist. my skin. A Prisoner doesn't look quite the green. Every night, also has that. Oh. I feel like I'm drowning. Then everyone was a bad dream. Wake up again. And all of my friends are still there, still fine. I guess I am okay after all. But you, Mom, you're not all right, are you? You're. Is that the computer that's broken? That's terrible. It's ruined her spaceship. Link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. They'll put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. You can support ours. Oh, we got the What to Play Next Pirate Queen on there. You can get our merch. Um, we love them. They're a great company. Um, KOFI, buy this chick coffee $1, make me smile. I'm also on Patreon, so you can support me there. Um, most of all, they'll subscribe. That's totally free. If you subscribe and you hit the bell, then um, you'll get a little thumbnail every day letting you know what we're working on so if you're big in the atmospheric if you're curious what that is um, if you want that kind of um exploratory with the craft vibe this is a great one i'll put a tag up for it um and then also for let me click off of this and then also um for you know uh the downloads and all that good stuff um also down there is my social media links so if you want to talk to us if you want to talk gaming definitely hit us up but like i said most of all subscribe and hit that bell so that you can tune in whenever it is you're finding it either a great game that you like or if you're just curious about game mechanics on something it's a great way to spend 10 15 minutes we try to keep them short we love you guys we love that you're always along for the ride we'll see you in the next video